you like in my in you buy Okay. I will give you for 40, 40 million and nothing to share in the paper deal. You will not fight like that. I'm, I'm, I'm always. He, he will be, he will be laughing in my back and you will be, I, I, I. You feel insulted by that? You feel insulted by that when he said that? Or demeaned in any way? Of course, it's, it's not a proper, uh, Yeah, you said you got peace of mind now, which is good to hear, but what was disturbing your peace of mind before? Really unsettling you. Oh, peace of mind, uh, you know, no problem with my family, uh, we have God, um, we have the love of God, and, uh, and all of the work that they made. So you're in a better place now? You like to make people happy, you say you like to make the fans happy. Part of what you've done regularly around your fights is, is those concerts before and after the fights. Um, given your new lifestyle, is that we're gonna are those gone or are they gonna be here to see? No different. We're gonna go by the study. Before and after yeah, before we do a Bible study. Will you sing at it? Will you sing at them? <laughs> worship song. Okay, well, let me ask you this. You know, you, you were a religious person before. You know, you blessed yourself a lot. You went to mass and everything. So, you know, do you think that there's some people that are going to look at your now, you know, conversion and say, well, you know, what's going on? You said you were religious before and yet you weren't living that lifestyle. So how do we, you know, how do we take, take what you're saying at, at this point? Exactly, exactly. Before when I don't read, <coughs> when I read, when I don't read the Bible, I don't know, I don't know my manual, ma manual, is, the manual is in the Bible. So I believe, I pray, I believe God, and that's it. I'm happy, and we keep on chilling, gambling, drinking, whatever, and girls like that. But when I read the Bible, when I read my manual to life. It's not good. I thought I'm already saved. I, I, I thought when I die, I'm saved already. I, I come to uh, the kingdom of heaven, but it's not. When I read the Bible, uh, you have <coughs> you have to do obey the the, the commandments of God. It's in the Bible, uh, Jesus said, "Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and you do not do what I say?" Now I. So the book of the book of Leviticus was one that became, became a controversy. I know you didn't make those comments, but just to ask you a Bible thing, since I'm sure you've read it subsequently, you know, it's a death of homosexuals and that thing, and that seems to be a pretty rough thing, right? If there's a Bible here, I, I will give you. It's not a Leviticus. It's, it's in, in the New Testament, in Cor First Corinthians six verse nine, and uh, First Corinthians six verse nine. What does it say? Um, there's a, you know, uh, the the homo the homosexual offenders cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So, what is it? Manny, why, why, before, why is your personal life anybody's business? You, know, you, you fully disclosed you know, all of your foibles. You fully disclosed all of your foibles to the public. Why is that anybody's business? I and mean, why why did you admit the gambling? Why did you just keep that to yourself? Why was it important to let everybody know? You know, I, I love I love everybody. I love the people, you know. Um, I want them to to go with me in the kingdom of heaven. Which way, you know, there's two two lives we're going to follow in this world. Heaven or hell? Uh, hell. <coughs> because all of us we have eternal life. But are you going to eternal tormented in the soul for tormented in the in hell? Or are you going to heaven which is 
know where Fred's going. That's what Fred can be saying. That's what I'm saying. But admitting your own publicly, was that, did you, I guess, you want people to follow you and see your example? Is that why you giving told them everybody? Uh, yes, uh, giving the example that, you know, in this world, uh, the most important is that. Are you going to walk to the ring to a, uh, a hymn of some kind? I don't know yet. Because Holyfield always did that, and I wonder if you felt the same way. Did, did you at all, because, I mean, you're one of the most remarkable athletes in the world, obviously. When you make statements like that, was there any uh, concern of yours of you're going to lose a lot of the fan base who might have watched your fights or bought your fights or those huge Manny Pacquiao fans? And when statements come out like that, that segment of the fan base could say, I'm done with him. Does that the, bother you? The statement of the... The homosexual. No, um, I would believe that God turns away. God turns away. Uh, what I said is, uh, of course, I always follow the commandments of God. Which, which, which one to part? To, we, we follow first the commandments of, of people or the commandments of God? With with Floyd being in jail, you being in town, do you have any idea of going to visit him in jail when, when you're in town? I don't know yet. Is it a possibility know, something you would consider? I don't know yet, but I, I'm praying for him. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not treating him as uh, my my friend, my enemy, or uh, I, I'm treating him as my 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 friend, my brother. You know, I'm praying for him that um, all things will be will be fine. For him. You two are gonna, whether you fight him or not, you two are gonna go down in history as the two greatest fighters of your era. You know, so do you feel a connection to him because of that, even though you haven't fought him and you don't really personally know him, because of your status in the sport, do you feel a connection to him? Well, we're all the same. This, uh, all things we have in this world is just temporarily. Although you've got to fight uh, Bradley on Saturday, do you now in, in this, in this piece you found you love him as a person? You have to fight Bradley Saturday night, but do you still go in loving him as a person? Oh, I have, um, yeah, I love um, Bradley, and um, brother, but we have, um, we have uh, a job in the ring that we going to do. Um, we, we, we have to entertain people. Some, Some people might be. How do you reconcile that? Reconcile the violence of, of boxing. Well, that's, that's our uh, profession. Part of the profession is... Uh, part of the profession is uh, to do our job. And, and after that, nothing So that's because some of the people might say now, you train and they say now four hours of Bible study and whatnot, you don't have fear that, for a lack of a better term, would make you soft, as people might think. You kind of embrace this kind of love of all people, but now you have to go in the ring and try to, not kill someone, but hurt him enough to where you're going to win a fight. You have no you have no fear that that will come over, that you can step in a ring and be just as fierce as always. Oh, when I sit in the ring, um, it changes the mood. Change the mood. <laughs> switch the button. Switch the button. Switch the button. Yeah. Change the mode. Okay, change the mode. You